For today's video, we're going to do another practical print. We're going to create a flexible rubber stopper for my daughter's piggy bank. They lost the stopper on the bottom of this one. And I want to see how easy it will be to design and print a new one on my Bamboo Lab P1S 3D printer. The filament we'll be using, NinjaTech's Flexible TPU. This is the first time I'm doing TPU on my Bamboo Lab P1S. And I'm hoping it will be easy, but we're going to find out. All right, let's jump into the design. So I jumped into Onshape, one of my favorite 3D CAD design software, and started to design a parametric design, which means I'm using these four variables to control my stopper. I used a caliber to take the measurements of the opening. If you're interested in Onshape and parametric designs and want more in-depth tutorials, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna give you a quick overview here. I'm gonna create a sketch on the front plane. Hit sketch, front. And I'm gonna right click and say view normal to sketch plane. And I'm gonna hit P to hide all the planes. So I'm using the line tool to make a rough outline of everything. And now I'm gonna use the dimension tool to dimension everything. So this will be the top diameter divided by two, the bottom diameter divided by two because I'm rotating around. So this is really the radius top thickness and bottom thickness. The last thing I need is a little lip here. So I'm gonna create a three point arc and here's our sketch. I'm gonna hit revolve and then I'm gonna select the revolve axis right here. And there we have it, the basic stopper. I'm gonna smooth this out a little bit with some fillets All right, we got our stopper. Looks great. Except I'm gonna add a little finger size hole here to grab the stopper. So let's create another sketch. All right, I have my design. Let's name it stopper and time to export. Now we're gonna load the model up into the slicer and choose the settings. Here's my model, let's orient it correctly. I'm gonna start really simple with this. I'm not gonna change much settings. I know online I've read all these tweaked custom profiles to get TPU perfect. I wanna see how easy this is. Basically, what's the lowest amount of changes I can do and get something decent and working. So I'm gonna make sure this is generic TPU. To do that, I'm gonna add a new filament here and change this to generic TPU. I'm gonna color it a lot because that's what mine is. And in terms of strength, I set the infill to 10% instead of 15% to make it a little more squishy. Let's go to objects. Make sure we choose the TPU. All right, let's slice it. Take 38 minutes. And now it's time to go load the filament into the printer. So I got my NinjaTech TPU and I can't load TPU into my AMS up here. I have to use the back spool holder back here. All right, now we have to go up here and disconnect the AMS and feed that in. You can see now it's disconnected and now we're gonna feed in the flexible filament. I'm doing this while holding the camera, which is no easy feat. All right, we got to feed it all the way till it hits the extruder. Let's do that and I'll see you at the front of the printer. Now we actually have to load it. I've done the settings on the Bamboo Handy app to make sure the printer knows that the external roll is TPU and we're gonna try load it from the screen. Let's go down to feeding. Hit feeding and say load. You can see on the screen, it says heat the nozzle. And when it's going up to 250 degrees, we're at 188. It says feed new filament from spool holder. Thought I did that. Let's go back to the back and try it some more. So off camera, I did a lot of pushing of the filament in the back. Do not see anything coming out. 
it says confirm or retry. Let's retry. I have forgotten how much I don't miss this part of manual loading since I've been using the AMS so much. Still don't see any black coming out. I'm going to hit retry again. Nothing. All right. I'm going to try this again off camera where I can use two hands. So I finally got some to start extruding, but it's still the white fil old filament. And we're now making the switch to the flexible black filament. I don't know if you can see it in the window. All right. We've got the TPU loaded, but I'm going to switch this bold plate. You notice that this one does not say for TPU. So I'm going to load up one that does. Very easy to do here. Take this one off. There we go. This one says TPU. Says glue stick can help. And what does it mean by that? Well, we have this glue stick here that's provided. And when I've used TPU before, it's on a different printer. So it's printed great, but it's completely stuck to the gold plate. So I'm going to take out the cap and put a little glue stick in the middle, very lightly, right in the middle here, which should help get it off. All right, let's go send the print. Let's print plate. Let's send. All right, it's sent. Now it's time to see if it works. So far, it looks pretty good. There's definitely some stringing, but let's see how it turns out. This is working better than I expected. It's just the basic settings. All right, we got the print. And there's a lot of stringing in the middle there. But because this was a pretty basic print, it works pretty well. And look at that flexibility, right? That is amazing. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see if it fits. All right, I got the piggy bank. Got the stopper. That is beautiful. The shake test doesn't come out. How easy is it to get out? Huh. Easy to get out that way. This is what I would say. While there is bumps on here and they're stringing, the quality is not great compared to other prints. For using TPU, a basic print, no settings changed. For a practical print like that, that was easy. Now, if I want to make something else, which I do in a little test, works a little nicer, I may have to change some settings. And But that is for another time. Until next time, don't forget to learn and create every day.